Edgar? Does somebody have their television on? Edgar. Who's got who's got their TV up? Okay, Vitor, please, please turn off your TV. All right, welcome, Vitor, Sarah, Oliver, Lucas, Carrar, Juan, uh, Edgar, and Andreas. This is a pronunciation class. Um, so yeah, I I found some interesting things um, for pronunciation. Um, still hearing some background noise. Um, there's a, a little pronunciation test um, that you can do with Google. And what you do is you try to say the word that's on the screen and it'll recognize it. So this one it says it says awesome right here. So I click the microphone. Awesome. And hopefully, yay, all done. <laughs> so yeah, um, that's pretty pretty nifty. Um, Something maybe you can just do like uh, on your own time. I think it's like really easy, simple, simple stuff. Um, but yeah, want to try and find a game. Um, let me see. What do we have here? All right, so this is Sounds of English. Uh, okay, wait, okay. What? Oh, uh, short, short vowel. I guess this isn't really a game that we can play together. Um, um, um. Well, um, what I do uh, usually for these pronunciation classes is um, just read articles and have conversation, um, and then just focus on on the pronunciation of those articles. Does that sound like a good idea? Sure does. Cool. Did anybody? Hear of anything interesting in the news or or something recently? Nobody. What about space. Do you guys like space? Anyone? Oh, you you don't mean the button on the keyboard, right? <laughs> <laughs> What's this? Uh, it looks like uh, a croissant. A croissant. <laughs> no. Yeah, when when light is. Out is it black hole? Black hole? Yeah. yeah, it's, it's a black, black hole. hole. Black hole, black hole. So but the name of this. Go ahead. But it's, but it's, it's yeah, but uh, but, and really black hole don't, uh, don't emit light, when light is out of 
something like a black hole is called a quasar. Oh, a pulsar. Yeah. Okay. A black hole is black, you know. You yeah. can see it. Yeah, exactly. I think there is a new theory at the moment that some light might escape black holes. Maybe this is what we are trying to show here. Uh-huh. So, yeah, as far as I know about black holes, um, that uh, it's, let's see. Yeah, yeah, the pulsar thing. You know, they shoot out light, and then they they shoot off uh, X rays, I think, or some ray, uh, some sort of spectrum. But uh, do you guys want to read it? Work on your pronunciation. Sure. All right. Who wants to go first? Mm. How about Andres? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay, mm -hmm. Black, starting with black holes, right? Yeah, let's read that uh, paragraph. Mm -hmm. Black holes are the universe's ultimate ga garbage disposals. Stuff falls in and never gets back out. It can't. To get out, you'd have to travel faster than the speed of light, which, as far as we know, is impossible. Cool, thank you. So mm -hmm. black holes are the universe's ultimate garbage disposals. Can you say that one one more time? Gar garbage disposals. Very good. Stuff falls in, never gets back out. All right, thank you. Next paragraph. How about uh, Danielle? Dan Danielle? Rossi? Okay, how about Felipe? Uh, yes, teacher. Could you read this second paragraph? Uh, yeah. Okay. Black holes grow by coming matter, and in the center of galaxy, galaxies, they can grow to has size. In the Georgius Barrett so, spirit. So, hold on one second. This is a uh, consuming. Consuming. Uh, yeah, yeah, very good. Consuming. Consuming matter. And, and this, this is uh, this is huge, huge, huge size. Yeah, very good. Yeah, right. thank you. Continue. In the, in the gorgeous, very gorgeous, good, gorgeous, very spiral mm -hmm. galaxy NGC uh, one a uh, third thing is uh, sixty five. There is one look lurking, lurking is right. Yeah, lurking. In the car that has about two million times as much as on sun, uh, us or sun. Not so only that, two million times as much mass as our sun. Oh yeah, two million, two million times as much mass as our sun. Not only that, it is globing down matter, and that allows us to measure some interesting properties of this coming monster, including its spin. Astromer, astronomers observe NGC 1365 black holes using the new, new star and XMM Newton. Observe observatories and were su surprised to find out it's spinning so fast that the other edge is moving at the very nearly the speed of light. Cool, yeah. thank you. So yeah, there's this huge um, barred spiral galaxy called NGC 1365. Uh, the black hole is in there. It's two million times as much mass as the sun. It's gobbling down matter. And that lets us measure things like we can see um, that it's spinning so fast that the outer edge is moving at nearly the speed of light. So the outer edge. What does barred mean in this, ca in this case? So barred, um, 
it's a galaxy shape. So Bard's spiral galaxy. It has a. It has this bar. No, oh, so it's it comes from bar, right? Like yeah. in bar chart, right? Okay. Like a, like a line. Mm -hmm. Or a stick. All right, cool. Third. Oh, um, can I have the link? For the article? Um, yeah, I can see it clearly. All right, so for the third paragraph, how about uh, what? What? One. Black yeah. Oh, sorry. Black holes are confusing. But the bottom line is that they are at such as highly concentrated massive objects that their space velocity is faster than light. Once something falls in it, it cannot get out. But some of the properties of the materials remain, especially mass spin and charge. The last bit is literal electrical charge, like how an electron has a negative charge. Cool, so that word is uh, specifically. Can you try that one? Yeah, specifically. Specifically? Very good. All right, cool, so black holes are confusing highly concentrated massive objects that their escape velocity is faster than light. Thank you, Juan. All right, next paragraph. Um, Lucas? Okay. Uh, mass is the critical property because the more mass a black hole has, the bigger it gets, and the stronger its gravity disappear. Oh, it disappeared? Oh, no, now it's okay. Uh, and the stronger its gravity is as, uh, is as well. But spin is important too. Look at, for example, a black hole forming via the collapse of uh, stars star's core when the outer layers explode in a supernova. The core is spinning since the star rotates. As the core collapses, that spin rate increases. In, ma in much the same way, an ice skater can increase his, his or her spin by bringing uh, their mm -hmm. arms in close to their body. This is called conser so that's cons conservation. Conservation of angular momentum. Objects spinning tend to stay spinning due to momentum. Just like any object, object in motion tends to stay in motion due to momentum. The total the total angular momentum depends on the object size and rate of spin. Increase one and the other must decrease. If you make something smaller, it, it, it will it'll spin faster. Thank you. Very good. So yeah, mass is the big property. So that's mass is you know how much something weighs. Um, so the more mass it has, the bigger it gets, and the stronger its gravity is. Um, but then it's talking about the spin. Um, the collapse of a star's core um, causes it to spin, I guess. The core is spinning uh, since the star was already rotating. Um, yeah, so as the core collapses, the spin rate gets higher and higher. So this is a, a distorted supernova remnant. So it's the leftover part of the supernova when the star explodes. 
um, that may contain the most recent black hole formed in the Milky Way. So by the time the core of our doomed star collapses all the way down to the black hole, the spin can be ferocious or ferociously large. All right. How about Oliver? Yeah. Uh, but there's more if there's this material around. The black hole falling and it can change the spin as well. If material falls strike to black hole, the spin will change much. So that last sentence got kind of muddy. So the, let's try again. If material. Um, if material, if material feels straight into the black hole, the spin wouldn't change much. Okay, cool. Very good. Thank you, Oliver. Sweet. And next is Sarah. Okay. But if that material comes in at a slight angle, it can actually add to the spin of the black hole, increasing its angular momentum. That gives a uh, a kick to the spin rate, pumping uh, it up. Very good. And long paragraph. Um, Slim, are you there? I'm here. Cool. Would you like to read this? Okay. And that brings us back uh, to NGC to 1365. Located at about 16 light years above Earth. Astronomers use the new star to look uh, at X rays, hold there as that material falls in, the, in it. It's up. So Next. hold on a second. We got uh, um, X rays. X rays. Pouring. Pulling. There you go. Pouring. Pulling. Okay, cool. And then go. Can you go ahead and read again? Exercise pulling out uh, of materials, material falling into the black hole in the black hole there. Cool. As that material falls in the in uh, its heats up to uh, million of degrees. Plasti uh, plasting out X rays that are easily bright enough to see from Earth with the right equipment. Careful observation allowed uh, astronomers to see this uh, X rays coming from ma um, metal just before it reached the point of no return at a position called uh, the in the most stable circular orbit, if it gets uh, any closer, loop it to fall <laughs> in and it <laughs> it's gone. <What's laughs> gone? So cool. Um, uh, so when you use these ed um, words, um, we'll just allowed. Yeah, allowed and then reached reached and then uh, what was the other one called called cool yeah careful observations allow astronomers to see the x these x-rays coming from matter just before it reached the point of no return uh, that's the innermost stable circular orbit if it gets any closer than that, then bloop, falls in and it's gone. So this is pretty amazing finding by the New Star Astronomers. It shows that extremely detailed X-ray observations are possible, something that's very difficult and painstaking to do. It also demonstrates that we can take a pretty close look at black holes and tease out details that were previously not possible to see. By themselves, black holes are invisible, dark, and nearly impossible to observe. But they're sloppy eaters, and this betrays many of their secrets. 
even from 600 million trillion kilometers away. Wow. So is that the same uh, article you had read? Um, was it Andreas you were talking about? No, I read something else in, in Lufanian, I guess. So what? Uh, what was what was the article that you read about black holes? I don't quite remember exactly, so I don't want to mislead you. But I think we said something manages to escape from black holes, uh, the newest theory says. And I'm not sure what exactly it was. Maybe X-rays, maybe not. Hmm. Yeah, so X-rays. So yeah, now we're able to, to see the spin rate by observing the X-rays. Hmm. It's cool, yeah, new star. Yeah, so it's just it reveal the X rays reveal the spin of a black hole. Cool. Let's see what else. Do you think space travel is possible? No. Going to really far places. Depends on what you mean by space travel. Traveling to the moon is it is yeah. space travel? <laughs> what about um, going to another star system? Well, it seems a little uh, difficult, but I think that maybe could be possible. Someday. Given enough time, but no, yeah. nobody would arrive alive, I guess. <laughs> yeah, you'd have to well, freeze. But, but maybe you someday we have to we have to do it because. Nothing lasts forever. Yeah, exactly. And if you, and if our planet is dying, and our last hope is to take a big ship and go out to find maybe a little hope, well, I think that could be possible. Yeah, definitely. I was trying to find. Um, let's see. Like, I've seen a lot of different types of spacecraft that we, you know, are like would think of using. Um, and it's really interesting. I mean, I can't really find it. Um, what about nature? Anything found in nature? Hmm. Intercontinental mind meld. I mean, that's two bats. Weird. <laughs> Mountain man fights local government to keep nature school and natural. Oh, what's something else that you guys are interested in? Anybody? I like watercolor. Do you guys like art? Does anybody like art and painting? Wow. That's a painting. Looks like a photo. Yeah. It's really, really good. Does anybody paint or play music? Well, if radio counts. <laughs> play music with, uh, with a button. Click. So what do you do, Andreas? Uh, what do you mean? Um, for for a living, for I guess, a living? to make money. Oh, okay, I have a couple of small businesses, 
and uh, I try to do as little as possible, actually. <laughs> <laughs> and to have fun as much as I can. Mm -hmm. Cool. What kind of business? Uh, one is a uh, uh, real estate one, mm -hmm. and another is uh, retail. Nice. So you have a lot of workers that just do stuff um, for you? No, no, small businesses like you know, five people above uh, in okay. each. So 10 people in total, not that big. But nice. we already are uh, self-sustaining while we do everything about my involvement. So pretty glad about that. Cool. Glad about Danielle. Did your microphone work? Danielle. Did your microphone work? I'm getting a lot of uh, echoing from you, Felipe. Uh, yeah, tell me. Uh, there was a lot of echo. Uh, in my, my microphone? Microphone? Yeah. Uh, uh, what ha I don't what I don't know what is happening. Okay, no. I think it's okay now. Now, now it's okay. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, what happened with the the black holes? Oh, the uh, we learned that um, black holes um, shoot out X rays. And the x-rays allow us to see and measure how fast um, a black hole is spinning. Mm. Spinning is, is like like a, like a revolution. Like, yeah. yeah? Yeah, like this is like a spinning mm. oh, yeah. around the circle. Mm. So what do you do um, for work, Felipe? Uh, no, I, I'm a student. I, I study for, for be a dentist. It, it's beautiful because you can help many people to, to I don't know, have a habit for, 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 them, for clean the, the teeth. And it, it's beautiful because you, you learn uh, how the, your body works and and I like many because my family is is, is of doctors. Mm -hmm. And I have this since I was a child. It's beautiful. And yeah, I like cool. it. Yeah. I, I like to to hear music. It's it's, it's beautiful, so you don't don't play any instrument? Me? Um no, not really. I I have played the drums before. I guess the instruments that I'm okay at are uh, drums and ukulele. But I don't really play anything very well. <laughs> but yeah, I paint. I'm a painter. That's what I like to do. And teach English, make things, stuff like that. Make things, sell things. Did you draw your avatar? Oh no, I uh, I used that as a reference picture though um, for a painting. Mm -hmm. And I used to live in Japan. I really like Japanese maples. Cool. Hello, welcome, Freddie. Okay, uh, Lucas. Lucas. Yes, yes, I'm here. So what do you do for a living? Uh, I'm working in a Japanese company. Uh, oh. I, I am a civil engineer. And we're building uh, factories. It's usually factories for Japanese client. Uh, lately, we have project for, for Korean. 
Mm-hmm. Very it- interesting. Uh, and and where do you live? In Poland. Uh, West side of Poland. Is uh, the 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 city is called Wrocław. Oh. So there's a lot of Japanese industry coming to Poland. Uh, lately, they they uh, investing in in our country because we have a cheap uh, uh, workforce. Mm. I think it's it's good for them. To, to build a factory in, in my country and probably it's cheaper than in Japan. Yeah. Land is, uh, I don't think they really have any land anymore. Oh, yeah, yeah. And it's difficult to ship things from Japan to certain places like uh, Europe probably. It's probably easier to to make things in Poland and then ship them to Europe that way. Yeah, it's usually uh, factories for big company which assembles cars, and if they assemble these cars in Europe, it's easier to to produce that uh, that parts in in Europe because they save money on on shipping. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, um, what about you, Oliver? I really like your your background picture. There looks like there's a lot of water. Sorry. Oh, Oliver. Oh yeah, see. Where what? is that? My picture. Yeah. It's uh, a city here in Chile. It's in the north of the country. It's called La Serena. Oh, is it a lake or the ocean? No, it's the sea. The ocean. Okay. How come there's so many boats? Is there always that many boats? Yeah, there are fishman boats. Okay. Do you like um, to sail or do you know how to sail a boat? Yeah, I like it. Questions. Cool. What else do you do? Uh, what? <laughs> what else do you do for fun or for work? Ah, uh, well, I like to play baby football. I play a lot. Of. Actually, I play at nine on a couple hours more. I used to play tennis too. I like to uh, to do some of volleyball. Uh, usually, I play some video games with my friends. I do bike riding. Uh, I have. Uh, I like to hang out with my girlfriend. Um, take a ride for the border of the sea. I don't know. I like a lot of things. So many, so much. I, I can't uh, mention it all. And I, and for in morning, I have a little business. I uh, have business about call center, internet connection. I sell in items by PC like mouse, speakers. Uh, I may I do. Technical service too, uh, and I teach math and physics too. Wow, teaching. you do a lot. So you teach math and physics, and then you have a small business where you sell ele- electronic items. Yeah. Nice. Oliver, what kind of football that was? Oliver. You said you played some kind of football. What was it? Baby foot. Baby? What? What he, is this? He said. He said that he's baby foot. It's like a small uh, stadium uh, with the uh, manet. Uh, let me show you a picture, if you would like. Baby football. Yeah.
Yeah, I like riding my bike a lot. Um, I need to get a new bike. It's a uh, it's a mountain bike, but the chain is all loose, and uh, I can't can't ride it. But in the really weak gears. Oh, foosball. I mean, yes, I think that this this is uh, what he said. I think. Yeah. <laughs> Baby foot. Uh, oh, so it's <laughs> not really football, right? In, uh, it's football. <laughs> but you it's don't really kick football. football. You kick the ball with your hand. <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> like Americans do, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> We call that foosball. How oh, we said the job? Foosball. Ah, oh, foosball. Foosball. Hmm? Mm. Yep. Okay. It's the same. I I play futsal. They call it <laughs> like that. I think. No. Foot, futsal not like this, but like. It's uh. Football you play inside in the cool futsal. Does it have different rules? Uh, uh se seven player I think, and uh, they play in uh, like a uh, handball player stead. Yeah, handball, yeah. Uh, yes. I know. <laughs> the field is similar to the again ball, right? What about football on ice? <laughs> can you play football on ice? What? If you are crazy enough, I, I don't guess think we can. <laughs> we can do everything we want. <laughs> yeah, what is what is Bandy. Just. Excuse me, teacher. Is it my microphone working? Yeah. Yes. It's working very well. Ah, thank you. Excuse me. Because it's the first time that I participate in a lesson. Welcome. Thank you. I couldn't see who that was. Was that? Was that Dan? Yes, it's uh, Daniel. Oh, okay, cool. Good to hear you. All right, what uh, what can we see here? What article? Would be a good article. Maybe we can read about football. Um, not American football, I guess. Um. No, 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 nobody likes Are you American. Willing to show us <laughs> some of you, your pictures. You, just in USA, like American food. And and I I don't know why what you are you call it American football because you don't it's play it with the foot, neither in a yes. ball. It's play oh. with the with the foot. <laughs> you use the hands. They use hand and, and foot. Yeah. And, a, well, and a very we... and a very strange of balloon. Well, we kick the ball like yeah, but, five but, times in a game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in France, it, it, it's called actually, the... actually, it's very similar to rugby than the football. Yeah. yeah but I read on wiki on that, and actually, rugby they call uh, football as well. In French, they call it the. Uh, American football, uh, football American, or uh, rugby. I, it's like rugby with protections. Let's try and figure out. Um. Uh, it's like Ritter that Ritter crazy Ritter. thing that you have in USA. Like, measure, like use. Miles to mis distant measurements when everybody in the world uses meters or kilometers. 
or use the pound instead of the the kilograms. Kilogram. Just yeah. click on football, and uh, it will explain, I guess, why different kind of games are po called football. I think uh, the only thing needed is goals and sometimes kicking the ball. Hmm. Gritter in football uh, is a term for just the grid, the grid and the numbers. So let's see. Um, yeah, developed from rugby football. <coughs> uh, it, like soccer, can be tracked back to rugby football, where you use your feet to get a ball at a goal, or successfully carry a ball over a goal line. Over time, some rules were changed, such as the concept of line of scrimmage, and of four downs, and a certain distance required to get more downs, and of course, the forward pass. In earlier times, football had virtually no rules. Wow, it goes all the way back to the 1600s. I think I read uh, that in different uh, universities in UK, they played different kind of rug uh, of footballs, and one was called rugby football, and another association. Well, you are just reading that. And then American football was derived from rugby, I guess, and. Association football is called soccer in USA. Okay. So when where was soccer or football invented? You think it was invented in the UK, and it's a mm -hmm. abbreviation of association football, which is called soccer. Ah. Huh. Well, well, actually, the football was was for um, was the result of a large process of gaming with ball in the history of humanity uh, and in Cambridge University they put some rules that start to make some official rules about this game so it says that the British invented that tool but it's not so in that way Hmm. Gaelic football. Okay. Okay. I guess there's just all types of football. Yeah, but it's it's just one real football. Yeah, well, I know. That, is that you know it as football in every world, and we have a World Cup each four years, and everybody see. Hmm. Well, we're, uh, and have teams like Manchester United, Real Madrid, Barcelona, and so on. Yeah, that's football. What were some old... Yeah, the Mesoamerican yeah. ball game. Actually, there are... Uh, it's it say that when the Sp the Spanish conquerors came to here to Mesoamerica, uh, they found that the Mesoamerican used to play with a ball, like the used to play football. Kind of like, but it was kind of like. Um... Uh, and I and I think that our um, Greeks. And Egyptian drawing about um, people playing something like the football. Oh. Did you have to use your feet? Yeah, you had to use your feet to to impulse a balloon. Hmm. And I wouldn't want to play football with a solid. Rubber ball waiting for. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. I wouldn't want to play uh, a ball game with a solid rubber ball weighing four kilos. He said. 
It says it is not known with any certainty the sizes or weights of the balls actually used in the ball game. Several do dozen ancient balls have been recovered. Um, yeah, none of them are really. They have no evidence that they were used uh, in the ball game. Yeah, but you know, if you are alone uh, and and you have nothing. So yeah, it looks like uh, pick a turn. They made some some balls that weighed somewhere in between three to six pounds, or one point four to two point seven kilograms. Yes. Yeah. So that's not too bad. I mean, how much does a basketball weigh? I don't, I don't, I don't even know. Yeah, didn't people die in these in these games? Uh, naturally, or the, uh, with an accident in the game. Um, a heart attack, uh, and stuff like that. If if not, sure then there is accident in the game. No, I don't think so. There is uh, only some uh, broken uh, bones. Yeah, I just I remember hearing something about human sacrifice in the <laughs> ball game. So I don't know. I don't think it really happened. Um, except for in some of the Mayan cultures. Hmm. Well, if losers were sacrificed, uh, probably no no one was uh, uh, wandering around and everyone <laughs> tried hard, right? Eventually you'd run out of players to yeah. play the game. Hmm. Oh, unless they captured people. It says captives were often shown in Maya art. And it was assumed that these captives were sacrificed after losing a rigged ritual ball game. Yeah. Imagine in 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 soccer soccer if the, the players are sacrificed that that is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I know. But in Messi, he's sacrificed for for <laughs> I don't know for Cristiano Ronaldo. <laughs> that is a joke. <laughs> Sacrifice. All right. Uh, all right. We got to get back on this uh, pronunciation. Um, would you uh, go ahead? Would you be willing to share any of your paintings? Yeah, sure. Um, they're actually on my Facebook. That's my Facebook page. I can copy and paste that. So yeah, um, most recently I started doing some graffiti type stuff for murals uh, and backgrounds. Um, so are we looking for you now? Huh? Is police trying to catch you now? No? <laughs> no this, this is for <laughs> I think Pimp My Light will catch him. <laughs> this for is for paid. <laughs> paid murals. But yeah, I really like... Um, Pretty cool. I like watercolor a lot. Mm. 
Did you do that painting? Little <laughs> penguin commission. Well, you are good. That's one of my favorites. It's a huge painting. Cucumbers. Oh. That one. I think is the. This is huge as well, right? Um, it's about twenty-two by thirty inches. The previous one looks like newborn child. <laughs> yeah. You painted that by by yourself. Yep. Oh. Cool. Did you have a study for this? Yeah, that's what I went to college for. Ooh, very, very beautiful painting. Is that uh, illegal to paint that on the wall? No, I get paid. Oh, so special place. Yeah, I got paid to do it. It was for uh, a company that was uh, they wanted um, just graffiti type mural uh, in their office, uh, and they're moving offices. So hopefully, I'll be able to get to do uh, another big one on their walls too. Yep, yep, yep. Well, do you guys have animals? No, that's me. Animals? Yes, I have. A dog? I have many. Different one kind. I have a dog, cat, mule. Oh, you cow, have a mule? Cow. You have a cow? Chicken. Yes. <laughs> a whole farm. It's a farm. <laughs> oh, so not a cow pet? Not, not what? Not a pet cow? I didn't hear you very well. I mean, not a pet cow. You don't keep the cow as a pet? No? I don't understand. I'm sorry. Okay. Try. Can you I'll write, write, okay? Thank you. I have uh, an iguana. You, you have an iguana I have an iguana, but um, he's kind of mean. <coughs> he just uh, he just runs away and gets really scared. <laughs> thinks that I'm gonna eat him, uh, or he whips me with his tail. Looks like that. But yeah, they're pretty wild. I think they're cool. They look cool. Mm -hmm. Do you keep him in aquarium or something like that? I I built a. Um, I I found. Um, an entertainment center on the street, and then I built a cage for him. Oh. Cage, maybe right? I, maybe I can show you. It's really bright in here. <laughs> but yeah, it's right there. He's gone. I don't know if you can see him. Yes. Oh. 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 Is it a little? Yeah, it's pretty small. Why it's a big one? Big one? No. He's, he's not too big. He's a little. Yeah, Does he need uh, some extra warming? No. Um, no, I've got uh, him next to the window. It's really bright. That's why I don't have the camera on. 
because of the sun is in my face. <laughs> but there's a there's two lights there. There's a daylight, and then there's a warm lamp light. Mm -hmm. And yeah, he stays warm. He's good. Uh, so you you have to keep him warm, right? Yeah, you have to keep the lights on, um, or else you freeze. <laughs> okay. Sometimes, uh, well, when we first got him, he wasn't warm enough. He would just get stuck somewhere because it was cold in the winter. So I had to get another light so that it would be warmer in there. All right. Well, um, I'm going to prepare for the next class. Next class um, is a vocabulary class. Um, and there's an article that we're going to read. Um, so if you'd like, it's high advanced. Um, yeah. Everyone's welcome to join. It's right there. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you guys later. Thank you for joining. Hey, thank you. Bye-bye. Right. Right. Thank you. See you next time. See you next time. See ya. Thank you. Good night. Good night. See you guys. Is your e iguana running on the two foot like human? Oh, teacher. Bye bye. Bye. Mm -hmm. About what? Mm -hmm.